Hi guys, so today I decided to walk you all through my process of oil painting and whatever it is that I do to approach oil paintings. Um, I know for many of you guys oil painting can be very daunting, intimidating and even overwhelming. But for the last 2-3 to three years I have been doing oil painting very frequently. I can say that I have been only doing oil paintings. Uh, I have left acrylics completely and so I would like to share with you all whatever it is that I have learned that works for me and I think it can be helpful for you all as well. For this painting I have used a canvas board as my surface. Uh, also some of my footages got corrupted while I was editing. Uh, I'm very new here so please forgive me for that. Um, okay so let's move forward. So the first thing that I would like to tell you all in this regard is underpainting. So you need to do the underpainting. What do I mean by underpainting? Underpainting is basically the first rough layer that you put out of the painting that you want to do. So drawing it directly with the colors and starting it with the underpainting. Underpainting helps you not to mess up with the entire thing. You get an idea about what you want to do. I like to use a thin layer of burnt sienna for my underpainting. I have also tried crazy colors like ultramarine blues, yellows. Yes, I was experimenting a lot. So I tried all those colors and I came to a conclusion that use burnt sienna for the underpainting. So why do I preach so much about underpainting? It is because it helps you increase the visibility of the other colors. So imagine you are painting situation A with no underpainting just the white canvas and when you are painting on white canvas what are the chances that your white color is going to pop out I'll say zero but situation two you are painting on the underpainting which is of the color burnt sienna and on that color when you try to go with the white titanium white it is going to pop out I promise you that because I have done a ton of those and I just love the feeling the love the depth that underpainting gives you of course you need to increase the consistency of burnt sienna here and there where you think that there are darker shadows where you think that these portions are going to be darker than the others don't feel shy to increase the consistency there it does not have to be thin everywhere it has to be like kind of a pencil sketch that you do just doing it with the oil painting so here i would like to talk about two approaches when it comes to oil paintings first is wet on wet technique uh, so what do you do in wet on wet technique you basically don't wait for the first layer of paint to dry before painting on it before painting the second layer basically so it is quite scary for me to be honest and i have messed up with quite a lot of pieces while trying the wet on wet technique so the second approach is of course the one that i like is wet on dry technique you wait for the first layer to dry then you go on the second layer i know it can be a little game of patience because you have to wait and get impatient while waiting for a couple of days sometimes but you know there are ways to speed up this drying process there are liquids available there are gels available by which you can speed up the entire drying process of the oil paint go for that and try the wet on dry painting i like it to be honest and if you have had any experiences with dry on wet or wet on wet then please let me know in the comments i would love to know about your approach and which one do you like personally very personally i like 
wet on dry technique and i would like to insist you all to go for it wait for the layers to dry and then spread that beautiful second layer and then third then fourth and yeah it can go on like that so yeah do let me know in the comments and do subscribe to this channel because i'll be coming up with more time lapse videos and tips that i have learned about oil painting that i would love to share with you all and i'm quite motivated to motivate others to go for oil painting you know it does not have to be scary all the time it can be easy and with some approaches techniques here and there we all can do this till then take care also i'm working on my website and that will be up very soon hopefully in the description box below i'll be linking my instagram do give me a follow there i mostly hang out there and yeah do come and say hi and by the way there is a blooper in the end i don't know why but it's just me making weird faces so watch till the end